Building stories are a basic structure in the IFC models. In SimpleBIM, you can see them here in the containment palette. Some call it model tree. However, there are several reasons why the way the designers define building stories doesn't fit for your purpose. Location prisms give you the full control. If only there was a way to automatically create them based on the basic building stories. My name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome. In this tutorial, you will learn how to automatically create a custom shape location prisms based on the building stories in the model tree. Before you continue with this tutorial, you should already be familiar with the basic location prism modeling. If not, please check the basic modeling tutorial first. Before we start the actual modeling, let's get to know the model a little bit better. If you look at the model tree again in the containment palette, you can see that there are three models in this model and each of them have different set of building stories defined. See it? The functionality you are about to learn gives you the full freedom to choose whether you want to create the same set or different set of location prisms for each building. Let's start with the separate ones. This will all make sense in a minute. Okay. Click on the Model Location Prisms by Building Stories from the Create Location Prism Ripple menu. The dialog opens. It's a little bit different than in the basic modeling. First, there's an option to automatically set a location identifier based on the Building Stories name. If you want to use this, select a location property for it. You can of course set the other identifiers also. These will be locations for the section or Building A. Next, select the Building A from the dropdown. This time, this selection affects not only where the prisms are assigned in the model tree, but also which set of building stories are used for automatically creating the prisms. In this case, we are generating the prisms based on building stories of the building A. You can also select where you want to project the footprint. This is the so-called modeling plane. Note, however, that in the end, this option will not have a direct effect to the end result. It's there to help the modeling select the elevation of the first floor. Height can be either the difference of the each building story elevation or fixed one. Let's try the height of the building story option first. The offset will be from the elevation of each building story. We'll come back to this later. For now, click OK and the modeling starts. Define the footprint around the building A, just like in the basic modeling. Finish the modeling by pressing Enter and the prisms are automatically created for each building story. See how it works? Click on a prism and you can see from the properties palette that the location 0 property has the building story name and the location 1 property has the section name as defined. The prisms go from one elevation to another. Nice. Note that the lowest prism is extended to the level of the lowest point of all the geometry in the model. So it's not actually starting from the elevation of the lowest building story. However, this way the whole model is covered. And you can always make a separate prism to have more control if needed. The highest prism is extended to the level of the highest point of all the geometry in the model. Extending the lowest and the highest prism is done when the height of the each building story option is selected. Let's try another one. Click on the model location prisms by building stories. This time we are creating prisms for building B. Remember that it has only three building stories, as you can see, also from the drop down. Select the modeling plane, height of the building story, no offset. Click OK. This time model a footprint around the building B. When you're ready, hit enter. Now it should start making sense. Since the building B only had three building stories, we got only three prisms. And they are higher than in the building A, because the elevations of the building stories are further apart. Makes sense? Compare this to building A's prisms. There are six as expected, and they are not as tall. Great prisms for building C also. But this time we want to differ from the designer's building stories. We want the building stories for building C to be at the same levels as for building A. So click on the model location prisms by building stories. Let's change the location to section C. But still we used building stories of the building A as our reference. It makes sense in the minute. No offset. Click OK. Define a footprint around the building C. Press enter and as you can see we get the prisms around the building C but based on the building story structure of the building A. 
pretty nice. You have the full control. We sort the locations. And you can see that you got location identifiers for building elements exactly as needed and wanted. Not necessarily like the designers had defined them. Okay, let's do one more. Click on the modern location prisms by building stories. This time, let's keep everything as they are, but let's use the fixed height. For example, one meter. Click OK, model the foot rim. Hit enter. And as you can see, each building story has its own prism, but they are only one meter high, instead of going from one story to another. How about if you use the offset? Okay, so one more for the road. Click on the model location prisms by building stories. Keep everything as they were, but set half a meter offset. Model the footprint. When you're ready, hit enter. The prisms are created. They are indeed same as the previous ones, but with half a meter offset below the building story elevation in each building story. That's it. Whew. In this tutorial, you learned how to automatically create custom shaped prisms based on building stories in the model tree. Please check the other tutorials to learn more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.